What's going on my dudes one step here today with the ultimate beginner's guide to Ghostface in Mortal Kombat 1 Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Ghostface some best strategies to be aware of and of course some fun and easy combos that you can use today So subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's talk about Ghostface as we get in there though My dudes make sure to pause your screen right here because this is gonna be the universal language that we're using throughout this guide So that anybody who's watching can understand what we're saying because man I got a ton of tips and tricks regarding Ghostface He's got a, just a ton of like little funny things about him that I was like, whoa, that's interesting. So take your notepad out, get ready, and let's talk about his moveset first. I'm not gonna be going over every single move he has, like one or four or whatever, but I will be talking about everything that you should know about. He's not really a mixed monster. His uh, his, his back two is an overhead, and, and that's that's his overhead. We're talking about normal ghost face, because I know a lot of you guys are like, well, you can uh, change ghost face by changing, you know, to Enforcer or Assassin. And yes, Enforcer has an overhead with two, one, four combo. I'll give you that much. But with how often you're actually changing into those ghost faces which, which again we'll go over later uh standard ghost face his back two is the really only overhead you can do and the best way i found a combo from that is uh down back three enhance so you would do back two down back three enhance and then some kind of combo from there you can probably use that with some cameos as well, but that is his overhead. Now for lows, we got back three, four. That is a low. As you can see, it doesn't really go into anything without a cameo, but with a cameo, you can use that for a ton of combo strings like this. So that is a great low. It's also got really good reach too. Like people don't really expect it to hit that far away and it totally does. One, two, three is also a low and you can do the same thing with that. One, two, three and then cameo and then continue it from there up and then boom combo. One of my favorite moves that Ghostface has is his back three. Mid starting, 13 on startup, a great move. Not only for those reasons, it is a restanding move. And by a restand, I mean, if your opponent is in the air getting juggled, you do back three, they are now restanded. So what this means for you and for them, they're not on the ground, so they can't do wake up attacks. They can't do armored wake up attacks. You know, they can't get up, get up reversal moves out. They are simply restanded, thus allowing you to continue to be the aggressor for mix, for mind games, for grabs, whatever. So that restand move is, is beautiful. That can also be canceled into special moves like this. It can also be canceled into your fatal blow. So it is one of the best moves to continue combos and of course to go into the fatal blow to always guarantee that fatal blow connection even after a very long combo that might look like this. Back three fatal blow and now that we stand, so that will connect. Yep, see, there we go. So I love his back three. It is also the only normal string or normal move that goes into your command grab, which is back down forward one. You do back three into your command grab, that'll connect. Whereas normally you do like two and then that, it won't connect. So having that as like a scapegoat as well is pretty sick. For those that do not know, his down forward four while going prone is kind of like a prone dive move. When that connects, that is also a restand move. It's a restand to let you do what you want to do from the ground. So they're standing back up. You can press one to trip them back up again or press two for the grab. And that is a true grab. So if our opponent is blocking, we do dive and then press two, that'll still connect. Anyways, you could do that in the combo and then restand your opponent if you you want to now that we stand it we can go from there a fun side note for you but anyways our, our best mid is definitely his back three for sure over two one's a great mid starting combo with also great reach too like that's pretty good back two for an overhead and then a couple low options as well but the low options typically are meant to go into cameos which is fine with me now what about wake up attacks because i'm not gonna lie with normal standard ghost face doesn't have a ton of uh combo extending specials you're using like forward four a lot to build them up again sure but really our best option is down back three for continuing combos but what about wake up attacks for armor really we got down forward four and that does gain armor so that's nice then go to the grab or the trip up whatever you want that's probably his best and only wake up option i think you have delayed wake up is also a great one for him moving on to setups and strategies with ghost face the first note as we get in there you need to know that you can change into different ghost faces you have the enforcer or you have the assassin you can change into them a couple different ways the moves i'm going to talk about you can press l1 to change into the enforcer you can press l2 to change into the assassin doing so does cost a bomb we grab and hold l1 we'll change into the enforcer now we have the blue blade we are the enforcer we grab and hold l2 we will change into the assassin with the red blade same goes for uh down back three hold l1 now we're the enforcer down back three hold l2 we are the assassin down back four same thing hold l1 there we go 
go. Down back four, hold L2. Now we're the assassin. Now, why would you change to the enforcer or the assassin? What are the benefits? The enforcer and the assassin have their own special unique combo string. They get one each. The enforcer has two, one, four, and that is an overhead low combo string that seems to not be comboable, but it's great for mix up. But both the enforcer and the assassin have essentially the same inputted special moves. So both of them have down forward one, down forward three, and down forward four. But of course they do different things. For our down forward one for the enforcer, we have a Rekka by itself does nothing. It's just a simple slash. Why would you use this? Well, you can do down forward one, up one, and that's two slashes. You can do down forward one, then press up one, then back one, and that's three slashes. So up one, back one, and there we go. You can enhance that back one at the very end by pressing back one with R1 at the same time, and that'll do a pop-up like this. Down forward one, up one, back one, enhance it, pop up, there we go. And you can combo that Rekka inside of strings like four, four, then down forward one, up one, back one. There we go. Do you get a really cool Cool Rekka using the Enforcer a version of Ghostface. Down forward three is a simple shoulder charge. It is pretty fast as well. I like that. Then down forward four is the flame kick. That's pretty cool. You can do enhance that and go in the air and do the combo string in the air. There we go. You can utilize that a lot. Four four down forward four, enhance it, combo string. So that's it. Down forward one is the Rekka. Down forward three is the shoulder charge. And then down forward four is the fire kick. The Rekka enhance will give us combo strings and pop-ups. And the flame kick enhance will also give us a pop-up for combo strings there. Now, a couple notes here. If you get hit at all while you're in the Enforcer or the Assassin, you will immediately change back into normal ghost face. You, you will take the damage, by the way, for whatever hit you take. But you will immediately change back into standard ghost face. So here we are. We're changed. Get hit. And now we're ghost face. And the same thing goes for I found Zur and Cam. like, if you try using Pharah while you're the Enforcer or the Assassin, uh, you can't. So here we are. We are the Enforcer. Jump, use Pharah. Uh, we don't actually take damage or get hit, but you can't use Pharah when you're one of those versions. So <laughs> don't use Pharah with Ghostface, I guess. Anyways, what about the Assassin version? Well, their combo string is back to 1-1. One, one. That is an overhead starter, so you get more mix there and a pop-up as well. That yes, you can utilize cameos afterwards like this. So that's our specific assassin combo stream. What about our special move? Well, their down forward one is a projectile. That is really cool. Some notes about that. You can do that in the air. First of all, that's pretty sick. You can aerial uh, projectile. You can do down forward one, hold it, press R1 to enhance it, still hold it, dash forward and do a combo from there. That's going to take some uh, time and labbing to really understand those cancels. So I, I won't really go too much into that. But yeah, you can hold it and then cancel and then combo. Down forward three is a rolling ball. That is full screen, by the way. That's that's pretty huge. You enhance that just some really Really cool damage as well like 160 damage for one bar one special move that's pretty sick down forward four is a miss throw of sorts and that is a restand by the way so they're now they're restanded and we already went over the benefits of doing so but if you enhance that they restand them for so long and stun them for so long you can continue the combo from there so let's do that let's go ahead and use that and we'll also enhance it restand and then combo that's a true combo string so there you go. We have down forward one, down forward three, down forward four with both the enforcer and the assassin and the different ways to change into those versions of Ghostface. As I said earlier, you can go into them by just going into the grab and then doing so. But how would you do that from a combo? Well, let me show you. This puts us pretty big far away. We can now zone out our opponent with Ghostface. I know, huh? Funny, Ghostface is zoner. What? You get the idea. You can uh, do down back three enhance, change, combo from there, and then use your special moves. And then, because uh, you don't want to get hit. As soon as you get hit, you are back to normal Ghostface. So thus, you wasted a bar. Now, another note about that is, uh, you know, when you grab and then hold it, that costs you a bar just for changing. However, if you enhance down back three, that's already using a bar. You can stay in normal Ghostface, but you can change into the Enforcer or the Assassin and that won't cost you an extra bar. So it's actually best to switch to those ghost faces when you've already used a bar in a special move like that because then it won't actually cost you a, a, an extra bar to do the change. So we enhance this change. Now we're assassin and we didn't use an extra bar like we normally would have. So that's where I recommend changing is usually inside your down back three. It's just because you already used a bar to extend a combo and why not change inside of that without having to spend extra resources? That's the uh, most optimal way I found to change. As soon as you get poked out while you're the assassin, it feels so, so bad to just have to go back to normal ghost face when you wasted a bar to change. And it's like, well, that lasted two seconds. There's a lot of gimmicks for ghost face. So I'm gonna try to blast through them with all these like small tidbits and, and, and tips and tricks for you guys. So let's blast through them. Got down back four. That'll hit your opponent. 
opponent. That's pretty cool. Not super amazing for combos, but you can enhance that uh, for a true grab. If you enhance that, that does cost two full bars. This is a brutality. It does 140 damage, but it's a true grab. So your opponent's blocking. Uh, like, okay, well, I'll just do this then. What are they gonna do? Block that? Nope. That's a true grab. Diving and then pressing two? That's a true grab. You have a command grab. Back down four to one? That's a command grab. You have three different ways outside of his normal grab to actually uh, grab your opponent when they're blocking. It was pretty sick. But again, down back four enhance costs two bars, so be careful. Ghostface has a cool mechanic, uh, down four three. This is the psycho run. Uh, you run pretty much full screen. Like for running, it's like, what's up, Biddy? Now during the run, you can press one for a stabbing uh, combo ender. You can press two for an overhead, also a stabbing combo ender. And you can press four to go into your dive and then crawl from there. Press two for the grab. In that dive, uh, three will crawl, uh, one, will sit, one will hit them, and then two will grab them. So you can do down forward four, uh, or you can run, then press four, and then four will actually cancel out of that. Or if you're idle for too long, you'll just get back up. While you're diving, hold two and R1 together, and you will do a two bar costing trap grab in a way. That is a true grab, that's why it costs you two bars. But you can do that, uh, crawl, hold two bars, and then jump in for a combo. I mean, hold two and then R1 that it costs two bars for that grab trap in a way. You can do that inside of combos as well. So you can do one, two, and then do the run and then press one. And that'll all connect by itself. Like one, two, down four, three, press one. That's a true combo in of itself. You can also end certain combos with uh, back three into down four, three, press two or one at the end of a longer combo like this. And that'll all connect. A little tidbit, you can use cameos inside of that down 4 3 one like, like Movado here, I mean, and then combo from that. So that's pretty sick. So mess around with your cameos and mess around with those moves and see where you might be able to put ambush moves like Movado's trap. Uh, fun side note, down back four, yeah, that won't work if you're in the corner. Well, I mean, if your opponent is close to the corner, you can't do down back four. Uh, they just uh, are busy. They, they, they hang up on you. So if you try and you're trying to do, you know, you're far away, you want to do down back four, uh, nope, not going to happen. You have two ways to launch your opponent in the air. Media list for aerial combos. You have a 2-2 two -two grab. That'll throw him up. You can jump 2-2. Two -two. You got forward four. That'll also launch him 2-2 two -two in the air. There you go. But you cannot do them twice in the same combo, meaning you can't do four to four jump 2-2 two, two, and then 4-4 four, four again well you can but then you can't jump afterwards to continue the combo from there same with 2-2 two, two, grab you can do 2-2 two, two, grab uh launcher twice in the same combo L like you can do it but you won't be able to jump after the second time of launching them so that's why you want to use one of each to get the two launches if you do 2-2 two, two, grab and then jump 2-2 two, two, you can do 4-4 four, four, and that'll launch them again it's a fun note for you there you can't do 4-4 four, four, uh twice in one combo or 2-2 two, two, grab uh twice in one combo either going back to that crawl if you do uh, down forward four or you know you're running and then four uh, three will crawl but you can cancel that three you can press three one and you can just go right into a strike or right into the grab I know it seems obvious but uh, it's just fun to know that that crawl can go into those moves also during that run you have the three options you know one two three you can also do your command grab so while you're running command grab and I found that best if your opponent's blocking do the rush and then grab them with command grab really throws them off guard They're like wait i thought i was blocking like yeah you're blocking watch this command grab because if you try to do one two command grab it's not going to connect so one two rush command grab that connects now ghostface is a very grounded character uh, he's not omni man homelander he's none of these characters that is going to be in the air a lot so really when you are in the air you only have two options you have one two in the air that seems like it bounces but it doesn't really bounce him as good as two two in the air would, would do so the so two two now we can do a lot from there right so really i'm not gonna lie to you you only really have one option in the air that's two two so throw him in the air two two now we can continue the combo from there and what's funny is they do the same damage so let's, i'll show you watch right we're gonna throw him in the air one two there's 159 okay we're gonna two two grab two two in the air and watch this 159 they do the same damage but two two is just a better bouncer more consistent it's just better so ghostface really has one aerial combo option and it's 2-2, which makes sense. He's a very ground, he's, he's just a normal dude. He's just a dude with a knife. So yeah, he's gonna be on the ground for most of his kit, most of his gameplay. Now, Ghostface, as I said, he can transition into, uh, you know, Enforcer or the Assassin. That's his gimmick. The reason why you wanna change into these other Ghost Faces is because they have their own combo strings, overhead low for the Enforcer. You want that mix. You wanna kind of throw your opponent off guard. And again, if you get hit while you're in them, you're just gonna uh, transition back into normal Ghost Face. That's so kind of a nice freebie. It's all about mind games. Ghost Face is literally about mind games 
games as a character and they do that very well inside of his gameplay in Mortal Kombat 1. He's a big mind game character. I mean, just for an example, while you're running, what are you gonna do? Command grab? What are you gonna do? Dive? And then while you're prone, what are you gonna do from there? Are you gonna crawl? Are you gonna slash them? Are you gonna just get back up? You're making your opponent not know what you're gonna do. And that's the point. Now, before we get into the combos that I know you're just waiting to see, let's talk about cameo recommendations real quick. Favorite cameos, I have three of them. I think there are three really, I think they're the three best options. I'm not gonna say that one is better than the other. They're just the three best in my opinion. They offer utility, they offer combo extension, they offer different utility, of course, and that's where you wanna decide how do you wanna play Ghostface. Choose any cameo you want. These are just my personal favorite. Movado is my first choice. You saw earlier, we have some really good combo extension off of our lows into a uh, 2 2 grab for aerial combo extension. Here we go. Then command grab. Movado is great. You can combo into your run, press one, call Movado trapped in. That's a free combo extension there as well. Well, not free, but you, see, you know what I'm saying, right? It also offers you command grab combo extension with that same moose. You command grab, throw Movado out, and then we get a combo extension from there as well. Off of our command grab. You can do back three, four to Movado. Uh, combo extension there. I find it just a lot easier to open up your opponent and get those combos going when you have Movado. One, two, three is a seven frame startup combo string that goes into a low. You can call Movado in and get a combo. So it's easy to like, you know, micro duck or like uh, just block an unsafe thing they do and then immediately punish and then Movado. Catch him off guard with the range that back three four has Movado and then combo from there. Movado is great. I, I I think he's my personal favorite, but there are other great options as well. Like Scorpion, baby. Because you only have back two for the overhead, uh, that's Ghostface's only standardized overhead. Uh, having Scorpion for that forward cameo overhead is great. Because of that right there. One, two, three for the low. So when you condition them to block low, because they're like, oh my gosh, he's just going low, low, low. Go one, two, and then forward cameo for the overhead. Boom, combo from there. He also gives you command grab combos as well so we can command grab call on scorpion combo there do do it again if that's the case you can get an easy 30 percent or whatever you're just using scorpion and then the command grab it's crazy you can combo off of those same strings movado cam like this you can do four two one two and then uh scorpion same thing the scorpion allows for fun combo extension you can off moves like this you get an overhead, which is very nice. And you're able to go full screen with the back cameo move as well. And this can be great, because then you're like, okay, what do I do here? Do I psych up my opponent, die for them, grab them? Ghostface just utilizes all the tools that uh, Scorpion Cameo offers, and he's one of my favorites. Especially those command grab combos, super dope. What did I just say earlier? Ghostface is a very grounded character. So who's one of the best ground combo extension cameos? That's right, I know you hate her to death, but Serena. And it's very true, man. You want ground combo extension, just call in Serena, and you, you got Got it, baby. You got it. So super easy to get some you know, decent damage off with Serena. It's good for just quick punishes as well. Like I said, Ghostface doesn't really have a built-in projectile, so having the projectile with Serena is also a great plus. You know, during the command grab, you can call in uh, her new move, the down cameo, to enhance your damage and super meter gain. Let's say you do this, right? Call in her. You do more damage during the command grab. You're getting super meter gain during that. You can also just uh, drain your opponent's bar uh, if you want to do that as well. She has a lot of utility. She gives you a projectile and, of course, ground combo extension, which she is great at, if not the best. As Ghostface is probably one of the most grounded characters in the game she's a great choice for him whether you like her or not she's great for ghostface now that you have a really good foundation and basis to start off with ghostface let's get into some fun and easy combos that you can start with today and i'll even show you some that switch into the enforcer and the assassin first we're gonna do some without cameo let's get it
Now some with cameos. With all that, my dudes, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of Ghostface in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Is he your new main? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat 1 content. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.